were shut down. Uh, one of the things that was happening during this uh, hysteria was many, many peoples were asking, where did these people go? What happened? And all the globe saw this event, uh, or they experienced it a afterwards. What I saw in people was that literally nearly everyone I experienced had a great, great look of despair and hopelessness upon their face. Everywhere I went, there was hopelessness. Nobody seemed to be happy about living. Um, you know, I've never experienced that. I've been to a lot of public places. Hi everyone, I wanted to give you some information I got earlier today. Uh, one of you, and thank you, sent me a link uh, of a man who seems to know a lot about astronomy, and he was saying that on May 22nd or 3rd, it looks like the comet Atlas and Swan are going to not collide, but cross paths close enough to create uh, a electromagnetic force field that would cause an EMP attack in our country. So, I thought about, you know, whether to give you the link, but I don't want to, and the only reason is because the Lord had me listen to a few other things he says that are just so contrary to what I think people need to hear right now, and I don't even think he's a Christian, okay, so, I mean, I know he's not, I, I can tell, so, um, so, what it reminded me of was, uh, a man named Ken Peters in the 80s saw a, had visions and dreams about the dead in Christ rising, and then the, some really severe pictures of the tribulation that was going to come and this one world leader and he did not know anything about the rapture when he had these visions and he was Catholic he didn't know much at all so he was not born again obviously so um, uh, it reminded me of that because he said that when this event happened where the dead came out of their graves, there was also an EMP attack. And I got to thinking, you know, this, suppose this was what he saw. And if this happens on the 22nd or 3rd, what really caught my attention was that on the 21st, it would be, it would qualify for um, the rapture as well as the you know, the, you know, God pointing to the number 21. The permeate society, there was uh, a very unusual event that happened. Television, uh, telephone, radio, and this other unusual communication device I was able to see into many, many homes in the United States, these white boxes that were about this big that looked to be like televisions. And were, when I saw these, they were in nearly every single home in the U.S., and uh, they would have words written across them, and occasionally it would almost look as though television was playing through them. All of those uh, media devices were shut down for about a two-week period. I know now that what I was seeing was personal computers in people's homes. In 1980, I've done some studies, by the way, about all the things I saw to see if, in fact, I was hearing something from God, because I'm not about to go on national television or around the globe and share this if it's incorrect. I have a ministry of my own right now, and I don't feel like jeopardizing what the Lord has established for the past 17 years. In, in 1980 and 81, there was less than a half a percent of American homes that had a computer in it, a personal computer. IBM was just transitioning from data entry cards into hard drive and, and uh, RAM memory into their computer processes. The one computer that was on the scene at the time was called a Commodore. Uh, this was in the uh, 1991 uh, Santa Barbara, California news press paper. This has to do with a single high-altitude nuclear blast by a rogue nation, which could, would bombard the continental United States with electromagnetic rays, crippling civil and military electronics from light bulbs to computers, uh, military experts warned Congress Wednesday. Uh, such an explosion would unleash electromagnetic pulse. I'm going to move this up just a hair. Restaurants have them. I've been to some restaurants where you have a television right at your table 
So you're keeping up with everything. Airports, everywhere you go, everywhere the populace meets, you're being bombarded with messages. This was the norm. Now, what was strange about this is that this man's speeches and directions for the whole world had to do with new times upon us as human beings, new directives for global peace, and the need to give up current citizenship for world citizenship. In Genesis 8, verse 14, it reads, And in the second month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. So that's 17th of the second month is May 21st on the Torah calendar. This is IR 27. Second month, 27th day, same as May 21st.